Hi y'all, my name is Rebecca and welcome to my channel. I am so excited to show you this DIY because I actually filmed it last fall. I do like to film ahead of time and use the items that I create to make sure that they will stand up, that they are durable, and that they're just not a creative idea that won't work. You know, that kind of thing. But last fall, that's a little extreme. I held this video back because when I went to post it, I noticed in the Dollar Tree that the items that I had used were not in stock. I did a Dollar Tree haul through the South and at my Dollar Trees in my local area, they have these items on the shelf. So now that I know that you're probably going to be able to find them, I decided to pull this out of the archives and go ahead and post it. So come craft with me. Dollar Tree sells these cute little wood boxes. On the outside, what is supposed to be the outside, would be a hard butterfly. Uh, I believe there's a flower, and there's several different styles, but I simply turned those inside out so that the plain wood fronts would be uh, facing outward. I lined them up, and I made sure that they were as square as I could get them. Sometimes with these unfinished wood products, they're not always a perfect square or perfectly even, but I made sure that they were lined up to where they were fairly square, and then I attached them with some wood hot glue. I glued one on top of the other first, and then I am the world's worst about not removing my tags before I start a project. So I had to stop and police all my tags and get all those off. And then the two pieces that I had already glued together, I put some wood hot glue on the side and I made a square out of the four boxes. When I had the four boxes glued together and I had a nice square, I took some apple barrel paint in nutmeg and I added some water to that and a sponge brush. I just sponged that over the entire project. I wanted it to look like a very light wood stain. And so I didn't want this to be very dark. That is just what would fit in with my decor the best. However, you could paint these any color that you wanted or what is going to coordinate with your decor appropriately but I just wanted a very light stained look. This paint and water mixture goes on very well and it goes on very light so it dries very easily. If you wanted to darken it up you could use a darker paint or you could put on an extra coat. But I've found also that when you're working with these unfinished wood products and sometimes they aren't a perfect square and they're not always the same size or even that the water paint mixture that is very thin will seep down into the cracks and it really covers up a multitude of sins in a very simple, easy manner. I am also not the best judge of how much paint I need. Sometimes I put way too much paint out for me to use and then I have to try to get that back into the bottle. And so I started out with a very conservative amount of paint and water. You can always mix more. It doesn't take very long at all, but I don't like to waste and sometimes I'm just not the best judge of how much product I actually need when I'm working on a little DIY. I painted all four sides and the front of each one of these little drawers with the paint water mixture and just kind of dabbed it on and sponged it on but I got one really good coat over the entire little project. Then I pulled the drawers out. Now I only painted the very top of the drawer and the sides so that it would show, but I, even though this is a very light mixture that I'm putting on, I wanted it to pull out easily and I did not want it to scrape off and I didn't want it to rub. I have some wood beads. I always buy like the wood bead ring at Dollar Tree. 
I have found you can get a lot of beads on those wood bead rings for $1.25 and they're very easily taken off of the wire ring and they're just a really cost-effective way of adding some extra beads to, to your stash so that you have them around when you need them. I glued the wood beads, four of them, to each corner of the bottom using the wood hot glue and then I just dabbed my paint mixture over the top. So this would look kind of like a little bureau with cute little legs. When I glued my wood beads on, I did make sure that the hole was on the bottom of my little chest of drawers. And then the other hole would be what is actually sitting on so that none of the holes in the beads would be seen as you're looking at the front of the bureau. I had some wooden knobs that I have purchased off of Amazon. I know Timu sells them. They are very cost effective to buy in bulk when they have their sales, especially Timu has their 99 cent sales. And I took some wood hot glue and I glued one of these wooden knobs to the very center of each drawer so that I could have something to grab onto and be able to easily pull the drawers out. And it turned out so cute. I did not paint the little wooden knobs because I wanted a little bit of different color, a little different depth to it, and I thought it turned out cute. I decorated this for fall with a little wood crate and some sweater pumpkins and leaves. It was so cute for the fall. I have this sitting next to my coffee pot because everybody in our household uses a different kind of sugar substitute. My mother prefers sweet and low. I prefer stevia. Uh, my husband prefers Splenda. It's just a hot mess of little packets and I wanted something to keep them all in one place and not have a lot of boxes sitting around. I have decorated it for every season since I made it in the fall. It is so cute. It would also be so cute in an office with paper clips and things like that. I am so happy that I didn't just scrap this video and that I held on to it so I can post it because this is something in our household that we actually use on the daily. I like to craft with a purpose and not just to create content. And I like to do it on a budget because everybody's on a budget these days. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Y'all are amazing. And I enjoy getting back to each and every comment, even if it's just a heart. I just, I love it. So don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell so that you know when I've uploaded my next video. Give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching Crafts, Laughs, and Chaos.